Hey Nerd Nation, welcome back to the CJ Nerf channel. As you guys know, I've pretty much gotten all the new blasters that are out and I got all my reviews up about them already. So I kind of decided to kind of branch off and maybe try some of the off-brand Nerf products and compare them to actual official Nerf products and to see how they uh, stack up. So today we're going to focus on the Nerf Bandolier and a recent knockoff that I purchased for a third of the price. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, first let's take a look at the Nerf Bandolier kit from the N-Strike Elite version. This is the blue one, not the orange N-Strike version, which you can actually pick up the N-Strike orange ones on eBay still. You can actually get these on eBay too, but that's up to you and you're more than welcome to explore that option. Oh. The Nerf N-Strike Elite Bandolier kit is supposed to retail for around $14.99 according to the Nerf Wiki, um, but if you can find it for that price, God bless you, because I can't. On Amazon, this is usually running anywhere between $16 as, and as high as... I think right now is a pretty high price they have it at, and that's at around $18.99. Um, but you do get two six-round clips, 24 darts, and the actual bandolier strap. So if this is what you're looking for, you're looking for some extra clips, some extra darts, and, and the strap, hey, by all means, go ahead and get this. Um, but I had recently bought and compared Nerf official suction cup darts with a company called Jetting By, who was selling, I think they were like $8.99 for $200. Uh, suction cup darts and they actually work for what I need them for so I decided to go ahead and get the jetting by Bandolier strap which is six dollars and eleven cents for this so let's uh, open this package of the official one and let's lay the straps out and see the differences all right here's the strap here are the clips I am going to leave the darts inside. Oh, actually, you know what? I will pull those out so we can use them to load into the straps. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice is the official Nerf one, which is on the bottom, actually has the Nerf logo, and the blue extra fabric actually goes a little bit further to hold more clips. Um, the top one, which is the Jetting By brand, actually has uh, plenty for loose darts, but only one slot for clips. So there's going to be one of the major differences between the two. Uh, the actual strap itself feels exactly the same the adjustment buckle is pretty much the same and the swivel hooks on the the actual bandolier itself um, they are exactly the same um, nerf spins around as well as the jetting by one spins around one of the major differences i've noticed right off the bat okay with the nerf one uh, the nerf one is a very snug fit you can't really get the clip to come out unless you pull it out and it does have enough slots to hold 12 darts it can also hold Four clips. You can actually get four clips in here, as opposed to only one on the jetting by. And I will say the darts are actually in there pretty snug, um, which is a good fit. They're a little pain in the butt to load because it is a pretty tight fit, but um, definitely they're not going anywhere. Put it that way. They're definitely not going anywhere. So 12 darts, three clips, and everything's a pretty much of a pretty well snug fit. Now with the jetting by one. Um, here's one of the major design flaws that I find with this one already. The clip is going to slip right out. It does not hold the clip very well at all. And um, I really think it's actually part of a useless point to this. It's too loose. Um, it's not going to hold any of the clips regardless of what they show in the packaging. But the one thing I do like this um, bandolier for, and I'm pretty much being pretty serious about this, they actually hold 20 individual darts. So instead of 12 like the Nerf one does, this actually holds 20. So if you're using an ion fire or a fire strike or one of those type of pistols, you might want to consider this just because it holds a lot of ammo and it's not as snug as the Nerf darts, but it's a lot easier to load and they don't really come out. So even if you shake them, it, they, they hold in there well enough. So um, I'm actually disappointed with the clip system on this, but I am actually pleased with the amount of individual ammo it holds. So I really do think they both have their place. But hands down, if you want to hold clips and stuff, go with the Nerf one. Um, that would be my recommendation for sure. Um, the price is a little bit more, but you're going to get two clips, 24 darts, and a nice strap um, with a little bit more fabric in the blue stripe and as well as the Nerf logo if that's what you're into. If you want to get something that's actually probably going to be pretty cool to be with a pistol, that a single shot or a triad or something like that, um, you may want to consider the Jetting By um, bandolier strap. While it won't hold a clip at all, and the blue fabric doesn't extend as far with the stripe, and there's no logo on it, it is very comfortable to hold 20 individual darts. I will put buy link 
for both in the description. So if you want to check them out for yourself, be my guest. There are about, I don't know, I saw probably about five or six other types of knockoff bandoliers, but this is the only one I tried because I was actually sort of pleased with their suction cups. So there you have it, Nerf Nation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment, click the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, I'll see you again next time on the CJ Nerf Channel.